And in this case, we're looking at a region with about 50 stars. For the most part, they are very similar to the sun They are in, in terms of mass. And they are essentially in formation. They're just baby stars. So nursery. It is oh. like a nursery of stars. And even though it is beautiful and has all these structures and it's very, there's a lot of activity going on, it is actually quite uh, a relaxed for a star forming <laughs> region. So Jay, why don't you walk us through some of the details? Sure. There's a lot to see. Let's go on a little tour. Little tour. Let's yeah. Do it. Let's do it. <laughs> all right. Okay. So as we're looking at the star forming region, one of the first things that catches your eye is this sort of glowing mane down in the bottom, this sort of yellow lion's mane thing. What that is, is a massive star, uh, is a little bit more massive than the sun, that has gotten out of its birth cloud. We also have regions that are still, this, where the stars are still in their birth cloud. They haven't gotten out yet. And we can see their, their glow of their disks as they're accreting matter onto, um, onto the star. The, you know, it takes a while for stars to form. They form out of a disk of, of gas and dust. And as they're, it's just gravity, right? It's just gravity accreting, and then there's more gravity, so then more stuff gets in. And then once those stars get, um, once those stars get enough mass to start shining, mm -hmm. they can push back at the clouds where they formed. Um, and so you can get like that beautiful ghostly lit up structure where it's actually that, that, host, that star lighting up its birth cloud.